One day, the villager decided to go pick on somebody. And he said, I wonder who I'm gonna pick on. Hmm, Nessie. I don't know who, but I will find somebody to pick on. Hmm, because I am a bully, said the villager. I'm gonna go pick on somebody. Let's see, who should I pick on? I don't know who, but I will find someone to pick on, he said. And then he saw little Marcus playing in the park. And he was having so much fun running around and chasing his little tail. And Marcus was was playing with his tail and looking at it. And he said, ooh, that's what that looks like. And then Marcus was running around chasing after his father and running around holding his airplane. Zoom, zoom, zoom. <laughs> you really like that toy, don't you, son? Yes. I like it because you gave it to me, Daddy. I know. <laughs> hey, Daddy. Yeah? I love you. Oh, I love you too, Marcus. <sighs> See if you can catch me. I'm gonna get you, Daddy. And then he tackled his daddy to the floor. And his daddy began to tickle his tummy. And he said, I'm gonna get you, Marcus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then Marcus went off to play again. And he ran around the park, holding his favorite airplane. But then the villager came over to him and said, Well, 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 if it isn't Marcus McCloud. And Marcus said, Oh, hello, who are you? I'm Villager, and I came here to bully you. And he took Marcus's favorite toy and smacked it into a million pieces. And Marcus said, What did you do? This is my favorite toy. (gasps) Why did you do that? And then the Villager grabbed Marcus by the tail and, and threw him into a mud puddle. And when Fox saw this happen, he said, oh, Marcus, are you okay? Oh, son, what happened? V- villager threw me. Oh, mm, that's it. That boy gave me a piece of my mind. Hey, you. Well, 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 if it isn't you, f- Fox McCloud. Yes, that's my name. Were you picking on my son? Maybe? Why? Well, don't you even think of picking on my little boy. Are you okay, Marcus? No, I'm covered in mud. And my favorite toy is broken, Papa. It's okay, son. Now that we're home, I can fix it. But let me read the newspaper first. Okay. Can I play outside? Sure. Just be careful. Okay. And then after a while playing outside, Marcus's daddy said, Marcus, it's time for dinner. Okay. Mm. Wait, hold on. Before you eat, you need to take a bath. No. Come here, Marcus. No, no, no. Ah, oh, you caught me, Papa. There we go. Let's get clean. And then Marcus pulled his daddy into the bath with him. And he said, Marcus, what, do, what are you doing? Daddy needs a bath too. Oh, no, I'm all wet. <laughs> oh, Marcus, I have a surprise for you. What? Look. <gasps> you fixed it, Daddy? Yes, I did. Here's your favorite toy, my son. Thank you, Daddy, for fixing it. You're welcome, my son. Ma, I mean, Papa. Yes, Marcus? I love you so much. I love you, too. You are my precious little boy. You know that? Yes, I know. <laughs> but you're your mommy's baby. <laughs> um, Mom, I mean, Dad? Yes? What are you reading in the newspaper? Well, that's the news. Can I read it? No, it's bedtime, my little Marcus. 
but I want a story. Okay, I'll read you a story. Yay! And then Mar- and then Fox was reading Marcus a story, but Marcus still didn't want to go to bed. And he said, "I want another story, Papa. Another one? Uh huh. Look, Daddy, I can chase my tail. Oh, I can see that, son. But it's bedtime now. Okay, Daddy." All right, good night, my little boy. Good night, Daddy. I love you so much. I love you too. The end.